Wait, wait till how long? So, so before more specific or fine motor skills. So, ang toxic modiscal it supports the theory nga mag-start or not theory, but I think principle nga mag-start ta, mag-start ang tao o develop sa ijang gross motor skill padung sa ijang fine motor skill. Okay? So, don't forget there are two types of physical development. We have cephalocaudal and proximodiscal. Okay. Next. So, let's go first to infancy. Physical and motor development of infancy. So, when we say of infant, when we talk about the physical and motor development of infant, we cannot or we underscore, we give importance to the reflexes of infants. Kaya mama, dyan na ilang bato, di ba? At first, that's that's what they do. That's what they can do. Okay? But what are reflexes? When we say reflexes, these are involuntary movements or actions for survival. Now, do infants only or can only do reflexes? No. Adults also like us. We are we we are also doing reflexes, diba? For instance, when you touch a hot object, what do you do? Diba? You immediately what? Pa only mo imong because it's hot, diba? And it's involuntary. Your mind would not would would not you you do not wait for your mind to say wa a imong kamot kay ini, diba? It's automatic. That's reflex. Diba? It's automatic. When you touch a hot object, you immediately on the mind. You immediately get on the mind. Kuha on yung imong kamot because it's hot and it's it's automatic. And what are reflexes for? Well, reflexes are for survival. Okay? Some movement are spontaneous or reflexes are spontaneous occurring as part of the baby's usual activity. Others are responses to certain actions. So, reflexes these are actually a response to certain actions, okay? So what are the different types of reflexes of infants? Actually, there are six of them. The first one, we have the rooting reflex, okay? The rooting reflex, this reflex starts when the corner, okay? The corner of the baby's, of the baby's mouth is choked or touched, okay? So can a corner? The baby will turn his or her head and open his or her mouth. So when you touch the corner of the baby's mouth, ang baby mo follow, di ba? Kung kung sa ang nakatatch ni Ja, mo follow si Ja o asa dapita ang ming or kinsa or unsa ang ming touch ni Ja. Why? Because this helps the baby find. Okay, this reflex, the rooting reflex, helps the baby find the breast or bottle to start feeding. Okay. And don't forget that this reflex lasts about four months. Why? Okay? Uto ni si Jack four months. Now, the rooting reflex, we can, the rooting re reflex is in relation with the sucking reflex. Diba? Because when the baby touches the breast, what, what does the baby immediately do? He or she sucks. Diba? Kung makikong ma, makuana na ni Ja ang makikita na si Ja o something na humo, the baby, sa man, rooting helps the baby get ready to suck. When the root of the baby's mouth is touch, the rooting, the corner, okay? When you touch the baby's mouth corner, okay, the corner sa mouth sa bata, he or she follows. And then, that's the time, no, makita na ni Ja, Musak na si Ja. So, the rooting reflex is in preparation of the sucking reflex. Okay? So, kung saan man po ang kinahangalan ni mo, kinahangalan ni mo, what do you do for a child to suck? You have to touch his root of the baby's mouth. You need the upper one, the upper lip. Okay? The baby will start to suck. This reflex doesn't start until about the 32nd week of pregnancy and is not fully developed until about 36 weeks. That is why 
premature babies may have a weak or immature sucking ability because of this. So the sucking reflex starts to develop even if the child is still in the womb. That is why among premature babies, there are premature babies who can hardly suck. It's because their sucking reflex is not fully developed. Why? Kay nagawas naman sila sa womb even if they are not yet yet kuan, di pa sila fully developed. It's because um, ang pregnancy lasts until 40th week. Okay, di ba? Ang uban, 8 months, 7 months, nagawas na. So, di pa dyan fully develop ang ilang sucking reflex. It's because the sucking reflex is fully developed or yeah, the, the sucking reflex develops in the womb. It starts to develop in the womb. Okay? Mo nang inigawa sa bata, he knows how to suck already. Okay? So, the third one, we have the moral reflex. The moral reflex is often called a startle reflex. Okay? That's because it usually occurs when a baby is startled makurat by a loud sound or movement. In response to the sound, the baby throws back his or her head, extends out his or her arms and legs, cries, then pulls the arms and legs back in. This reflex lasts until the baby is about two months old. When we say more reflex, sabisaya pa mo niya umakurat ang bata. Di ba? Can you, can you imagine when a baby is startled? Buhilak and then he immediately extends his hand and his legs. Don't worry, I'll give you a picture at the end of this one. We also have tonic neck reflex. When a baby's head is turned to one side, the arm on that side stretches out and the opposite arm bends up at the elbow. This is often called the fencing position. This reflex lasts until the baby is about 5 to 7 months old. Okay, so more again, Anna. Tonic neck reflex. Then five, we have grasp reflex, okay? Stroking the palm of a baby's hand causes the baby to close his or her fingers in a grasp, okay? So, when you touch the baby's arm, diba mo iwan si Jia? Ang bata, ang kuja, okay? The grasp reflex lasts until the baby is about five to six months old, okay? So, not only the hand, but also toes grasp. Okay, next, the last one, we have the stepping reflex. This reflex is also called the walking or dance reflex because a baby appears to take steps or dance when held upright, kung imong gunitan ang bata, and then when he touches an object, when his feet touches an object, automatic magiging iwan ang bata because that's a reflex. That's normal. So, okay, so, sorry. Pang six then step, step in the reflex. So, this is the example of this is the rooting reflex. When you touch the corner of the baby's mouth, the baby follows. Okay? This is the sucking reflex. When you touch the baby's upper corner of his or her mouth, he or she will suck. Then, can a moral? Makurat ang bata. Ha? And then, and a tonic neck. Some, um, some people say that tonic neck, can you see that? Okay, is a reflex that prepares a child to defend for himself. Can you see that? Tonic neck. It prepares a child to defend him or herself. This one is the grasp reflex. Then, when you touch the baby's palm, he or she will immediately grasp the object. Okay, this is that. This is the grasp reflex. And then we have the stepping reflex. When you held the baby upright and then can appeal to draw objects, I don't feel. That's normal. A 
okay so we're done with the reflexes let's go now to thudders okay thudders they are those okay who are 18 to 36 months okay una sila ang mga thudders ano sila sa picture this is how they look like in the picture yung mga thudders okay Thudders use their bodies to further understand their world and to gain independence. They do not yet understand their limitations. Muna, children at this age, hindi din sila mahilingutan ng aura. Okay? Hilig din na silang maghilabot. It's because they don't know their limitations yet. Okay? That's normal for them na maghilabot. Isang unsang ilang mga makita. It's because they do not know their limitations yet, di ba? Huwag pa na silang nahuna nga if I will, or kung haon yung labtan, my mom and my dad will get angry. Huwag pa na silang nahuna. They don't have that limitations yet. Okay, mo nang si aw sila, o kung nang hilig sila maghilabo, hilig sila magdagandagan, because they really use their bodies to further understand the world. Okay? Next, others use their gross motor skills, okay, in activities such as climbing, running, pushing, pulling, jumping, and throwing. So, at this age, okay, toddlers, what pa na sila fine motor skills? Okay, they cannot use their fingers properly yet. That is why it's hard for them to, what, to grasp a, a pencil or to use pencil. Diba? Because using a pencil needs fine motor skill. Diba? Muna, usually, ang ina pa is big, big objects. Okay, like puzzles, yaka ng dagpo, lego, nga dagpo. So, when you are a teacher in a toddler, so muna kinakalan mga big objects, hindi ang gagmay kagmay. Why? Because if you give them small objects that need, small objects that need fine motor skills, they will easily get bored. Hindi na sila ganahan maghilabot o mga ingana o hindi sila ganahan na mag, 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 um, mag tinker o ingana. It's because di pa sila, di pa sila ka-adjura kung ano pa sa ilang fine motor skill. Okay? Next, the older toddlers begin to walk upstairs with one foot on each step. So, toddlers, it is why pantadyanan yung ingana yung bata, ingana yung uh, it's because they can already walk upstairs with one foot. Okay? So, toddlers define their fine motor skills by practicing drawing, fitting pieces into simple puzzles, zipping, okay, stacking and building with blocks, turning pages of a book, and holding a drinking cup. Okay? So, at this age, Pwede na hindi mong tagaan ng bata o libro, but you, you do not expect them to read, okay, but to turn pages only. Okay, and hold a cup, okay, because diba ang cup is, uh, is bigger than, than pencil or ball pen. So, pwede na dyan ang ma makuan. Okay, so as a way of communication, since most of them, or toddlers cannot, cannot talk yet, diba? Cannot communicate through, through the use of language. Diba? Through the use of um, verbal language. So, sa may ilang buhaton, gesture. Diba? When they point an object, it could mean anything. Diba? When they point an object, pwede mo sila nga, I like that, I don't like that. Okay? So, pointing is already a, is their way of communication. Now, let's go to preschoolers. Okay? So, for the preschoolers, they spend a great deal of time running, climbing, jumping, and chasing each other. Okay? They scribble, paint, build, pour, cut with scissors, put puzzles together, and string beads. But, preschoolers did fully develop ilang fine motor skills. Okay? gross motor skills pag happen na sila but they are still developing okay they are still developing their fine motor skills but ang gross motor skills in preschoolers medyo 
Murat Padong na si John sa Fine Motor Skill. Munang, yung pwede na si John matagaan yung gunting. So, they are, cons- they are constantly on the move and their skills improve significantly from the time they were toddlers. So, there's their motor skills are also developing from the time that they were toddlers. So, not develop more. Okay. So, preschoolers, as their bodies grow over time, the areas in preschoolers' brain that control movement continue to mature, thus enabling them to perform gross motor skills such as running, jumping, throwing, etc., and fine motor skills such as swimming, uh, drawing, and cutting with scissors. So, the area of the brain that controls motor skills not developed as or it continues to mature. Okay, so Mona, just like I told you earlier, that these schoolers um, are slowly developing their fine motor skills. Okay. Now, so what they need, they need rich experiences um, for children to develop, and they are especially important for these schoolers. So, Pinangan, since this one, they are de- developing their um, fine motor skills, so they can have them paint, but don't expect them to paint beautifully, to paint artistically or creatively. So, magyong inyo na rin na sila sa, sa brush. Okay? So, I'm not telling you that these, these schoolers are, are, tell me nga 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 are still developing their fine motor skills and then you don't dili po din mo sa tagaan o mga mga gagmay gagmay na buta pwede na okay pwede na okay so now let's go to um, school ages so muna sila ang mga bata na school ages or 6 to 12 years old okay so 6 years old is kinder okay so muna is school ages School ages mature while refining their gross and fine motor skills. They gain more control of their bodies and are better able to coordinate and balance. As seen in activities such as jumping rope, organized sports, obstacle courses, and yoga. So this one, for school ages, their motor skills okay, are better developed than the preschoolers. So, pwede na silang makahimo ang mga buta ng mga sudi-sudi-sudi ng buwaton. Such as obstacle courses, nagandagan, pwede na naman silang balance. Okay? Unlike at the schoolers na hindi mo padaganon po, pwede pa ito si Jangma makumba. Okay? So, school agers become more proficient in their fine motor skills and are able to use utensils, tie their shoelaces, use clasps and buttons and color ornaments. So, sa school, sa school ages, medyo develop na ilang fine motor skills because when you reach the age of 6, you need to learn how to use pencil because it's what na kaya na, you need to write your name. Diba? Okay. So, a school age child's brain is still developing as they learn how to do new things and to think differently. So, Diri na sa school ages since they are they are starting to mingle other people, so their ch- child's brain is kuan um learning to think of new things. Kano man kaya na masila yung mingle ng mga tao, na nasila yung pagkulang ng mga bagko, ba? They gradually become less egocentric and are better able to think about and understand things from different viewpoints. So for school ages. They are not so egocentric. They can already, um, they learn to to think of others' viewpoints. Dili kay ilara. Diba? So, yung aning ng mga edad sa mga bata, dili na sila muhila o um, imong sultian of what they should do or not do. It's because they are not egocentric na kaadyo. Okay? Unlike sa katong mga, unlike sa katong bata, katong mga toddlers, kaya kung haunin mong idyang, kung haunin mong idyang, 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 toy, muhila ko siya dito. So, okay? 
expected, school age children will experience normal body changes as puberty begins. Okay, sometimes these changes can be drastic, seeming to happen overnight, while other changes happen gradually over months or, months or years. Uh, as a, um, the important thing for school ages is that caregivers' empathy is, is especially important for school ages. Okay, no naman, this stage mo, na may mga kalahit, na changes sa inyang body, dumating nga naman sila. So, mo nang you need, your heirs, givers, empathy is really important. Now, so let's go to adolescent, okay? 13 to 19 years old. Okay, but, sorry, na wrong na nang edad ha, okay, because adolescent na adi tayo, na tayo early, middle, and late adolescent, okay? So, but we, we, we are focusing only to 13 to 19 years old, okay? So, in adolescent, girls may begin to develop breast buds as early as 8 years old. Breast develop fully between ages 12 and 18. So, at this age, for girls, mamukol na. Okay, so, muna na ako sa small changes. And then, pubic hair, arm feet, and leg hair usually begin to grow. Excuse me, at about 8 at about age 9 or 10, and reach adult patterns at about 13 to 14 years old. So this is self-explanatory since um, each one of us um, have passed this stage already. Or, oh yeah, yeah. So we, we also experience these things, okay? So this is self-explanatory. Okay, so muna si Ja, dugo na ang baji. Then it may occur as early as age 9 or as old as age 16. The overage age of menstruation in the United States is about 12 years. Also, usually, ang bata ko na sa US at the age of 12 years old, dugo na. Okay? Girls' growth spurt peaks around age 11.5 and slows around, around age 16. Okay. For boys, they begin to notice that their testicles can start and grow as early as age 9. Okay? Soon, the penis begins to lengthen. By age 17 or 18, their genitals are visible at their adult size and shape. So, one of the changes for boys. Pubic hair growth as well as armpit, leg, chest, and facial hair. So, bangaso na. Begins in boys at about age, age 12 and reaches an adult patterns at about 17 to 18 minutes. So, mga sir, mga importante na to, um, you remember, for adolescent. Now, boys do not start puberty with a sudden incident, like the beginning of menstrual periods in girls. Having regular nocturnal emissions or wet dreams marks the beginning of puberty in boys. Wet dreams typically start between ages 13 and 17. The average age is about 14 and a half years. So at the same time, boys' voices change at the same time as the penis grows. Okay, so dungan din na sila. And then boys' growth spark peaks around age 13 and a half and slows around age 18. So these are self-explanatory. Okay, so when you reach adolescent, puberty, there are really changes in your body. Okay, sa so mga siya. And then, sa so adolescent, refine na dyan ang imong fine motor skills. And like akong toddler ka, preschooler ka, sa so mga siya. Okay, na ba? Physical changes may not occur in a smooth, regular schedule. Okay? So, mat so makabantay ka ng for example, for boys, kung wala kang, manong well, si Jana na ibungot sa ilok, ako wak pa. Okay? Because it doesn't follow a regular schedule na kinahalan at this age na kayong anak. So, delete the same. Okay? Nag-vary po na siya sa time. But, don't worry because you will really pass that um, change. Okay? So, Adolescents may go through awkward stages, both in their appearance and physical coordination. So, murag, at this time, at this stage, murag, you feel awkward. 
it's because of the changes. Okay? Girls may be anxious if they are not ready for the beginning of their menstrual periods. Diba? Some girls, nagko sila first nilang menstrual period sa school. Diba? And then, as a girl, you feel anxious na, gusto naman eh. Okay? So, yeah. Boys may worry if they do not know about maternal conditions. Okay. The sudden and rapid physical changes that adolescents go through make adolescents very self-conscious. Okay. May uban, bugasun na. So they are, they, they become more self-conscious. Okay. They are sensitive and worried about their own body changes. They may make painful comparisons about themselves with their, with their peers. So we compare, compare na na. Start to compare now their changes. So let's learn more. Okay, so that's about physical and motor development. Okay, so do you have any question? So that we can go immediately to cognitive development. Sir, excuse me po. Mm. Medyo mahina po yung voices niyo. Ayan. Thank you po. So, do you have any question so that we can um, proceed to the cognitive development? Okay, none. Now, let's talk about cognitive development. So, when sa child and adolescent development, the kantang developments na atong i-tackled. Physical and motor development is just one. Okay? Na atay cognitive development, na atay psychosocial, na atay social development, moral development, na atay psychoanalytic or psychoanalysis. So that is why I told you before that child and adult child and adolescent book at this jangan subject because there will be a lot of theories na imong learn okay kinahala ni jung i learn okay so that's about cognitive uh, physical and motor now let's go to cognitive development so for cognitive development who is the first person that comes into your mind so it's jan pj of course diba so kayo nun pa bumuno ja you still remember Jen PJ? Pinam dong pa ba mo? Okay. Jen PJ was a Swiss psychologist and genetic epistemologist. He is most famously known for his theory of cognitive development that looked at how children develop intellectually throughout the course of childhood. Okay. So, a theory ni Jan PJ is very, very important in the field of education. Si Ja ang first na person who used the term schemata. Schema. Okay, do you remember that word? Okay, so he suggested that children sort the knowledge they acquire through their experiences and interactions into groupings known as schemas, okay? So, ang schema ta daw, it looks like a cabinet, okay? A cabinet si Jana, di pang file ang mga knowledge, okay? And then, kung kinahanglan gamit tong sa bata ang knowledge, ija tong ablihan, and then, ijang pangwaon tong tua sa soul. Ting anak ko no ang brain sa, sa bata or sa tao, okay? When new information is acquired, it can either be assimilated into existing schemas or accommodated through revising an existing schema or creating an entirely new uh, category of information. So, sa ijang, sa ijang theory, usually ang mugawas nga sa exam is assimilation and accommodation. How do they differ? Okay, what's the difference between, uh, between assimilation and accommodation? This one. Muna siya kasi karang magawa sa exam. Okay? Now, this is how it works. Okay? 
assimilation, okay, sa assimilation, this is where you learn new information or knowledge, okay? Well, sa accommodation, this is where you are going to revise that knowledge, okay? For example, sa assimilation, you saw first, okay, this is your first experience with a four-legged animal, okay? And then, in your existing schema, this four-legged pet is a dog. So, makaingon ka nga. For example, you saw, you saw a four-legged animal. And then, ingon ang imo, ang, then pagkakita ni mo adto, somebody said, it's a dog. So, that time, mo assimilate ka na all four-legged animals are dog. So, that's assimilation. Okay? So, syempre, bata pa ka. So, assimilation. And then, when you go through um, stages of development, go through time, so, magkadugay, mag-anang magkadugay, you accommodate now. Imo nang i-revise ang imong una nga thinking about four-legged animal. So, ang imong existing schema, that four-legged pet or four-legged animal is a dog. But, um, over time, makakita ka o ubang animals na four-legged and then makibaw ka nga, ah, so not all four-legged animals are dog. They can be, um, they can be tiger, they can be cat, they can be, so when you're arabaw or cow. So, Muna si Jack, ang kalahian sa assimilation of accommodation. It's just simple. For assimilation, that's your first time. To, that's your first time to learn, to learn, and to learn uh, an information. And then, through the course of time, malahit na, ma-revise na. It's because you will learn something na pod. Okay? So, muna si Jack, ang assimilation of accommodation. Okay? Or oh, for example, another example, um, uh, for example, no, about, about, about uh, clothes. Diba? So, pagkabata ni mo, yung ka, you, um, you saw a person wearing t-shirt. So, makaingan ka nga, ah, all clothes are t-shirt. But no, it can be a blouse, it can be, diba? Um, it can be a blouse, it can be, it can be a dress, it can be a polo. So, muna siya, ma-accommodate ka. Okay, ma-revise, madugangan. Muna siya. Kung sa, kung sa graphic organizer pa, muna, ang imong, ang imong, ang, the assimilation is the main idea at first. And then, through the course of time, mag-alam siya kadaghan, mag-sangasangan na. That's a schema. Okay? Makasabot mo nga na. Do you have any question about assimilation and accommodation? Kinahan si kung ma'am ang kolokyo kasi gira magkaon. Okay. So, that's assimilation and accommodation. Okay. So, in John PJ's cognitive development, there are how many stages? There are four stages. Okay, this is very important. Okay, each stage has, excuse me, each stage has key development that you need to remember. Okay, module nyo kasi gara magawa sa exam. Okay, so we have the first one, the sensory motor stage. From the word sensory or senses and then motor. Okay, so stage one, we have stage one. For stage 1, so we can see from birth to 2 years old. Okay? During the early stages, according to PJ, infants are only aware of what is right in front of them. Okay? They focus on what they see, what they are doing, and the physical interactions with their immediate environment. Okay? So, when we say sensory motor stage, we say ilang makitaan mo, ilang mahinong dumay. Okay. Now, so 
Ang ijang key development is object permanence. Okay? Knowing that an object still exists even if you can't see it or it's hidden. Why? That's what I told you in sensory motor stage kung unsa ra ijang makit-an maura po ijang mahinumduman. So, bisan ang ijang nakit-an is wa diha, he can still remember it even if he can't see it, even if he can't see it, the object, even if it's hidden in his mind, it still exists. Okay? We call it object permanence. Okay? Under na siya sa sensory motor stage, 0 to 2 years old. Okay? And then, after ana, we have pre-operational stage, 2 to 7 years old. Okay, when we say 2 to 7 years old, mga kuanas dya, kinder grade 1. Mga na toddlers, preschoolers. Yeah. So, in pre-operational stage, the development of language, memory, and imagination, so mga nasa dere, intelligence is both egocentric and intuitive. Okay, so dili pa, so kung siya, intelligence is egocentric, it means about myself, kung unsay ako, dapat mao siya, the world follow me, or the world needs to follow me, okay, because egocentric and then intuitive, okay, so sa pre-operational stage, the first key development is symbolic functioning. Characterized by the use of mental symbols, words, or pictures which the child uses to represent something which is not physically present. So, in symbolic functioning, mo ni siya ang pretentious play. Kabantay mo ang mga bata. For example, when he see or when he sees or when he finds a cup or a glass, ito himo o ni Irving Airplane. Diba? So, mo na siya. He represents a thing into something else. Yeah, symbolic functioning, symbol. Okay. So, next we have centration. Characterized by a child focusing or attending to only one aspect of a stimulus or situation. So, um, kisa yung nakakuha diri of child and adult. Child and adult the same. I know there are some na uh, unit earners. Na basing uh, na kuha po may ngayon. Child in the sa na subject. Okay. So, sa centration, kuhaan po siya dyan? About judging objects. Okay. For example, the, um, the, the best example na gigamit ni John P. J. Ano nga key development is katong duha kabaso. Diba? The narrow, the narrow one, the narrow, the narrow glass, and the wider glass. Okay? Nga, ang katto daong tubig, okay? That, ang katong tubig, nagikan sa wider glass, gibalhin siya sa taas na baso, okay? Taas na baso, sa gamay na baso, gibalhin siya sa katong narrow glass, and then, if judge ang bata, the child was asked to judge, okay, which, um, or between, okay, sa duha, asa kuno ang mas daghan, katong taas, katong tubig na gibutang sa taas, or katong tubig na naas siya sa wider glass. Pero same quantity ra siya. Okay? So, of course, the child would tell na mas daghan ka itong naasa taas, kabaso. Okay? Because, ang bata, at this age, he can only judge an object according to one criteria or one characteristic. Okay? So, dili siya, dili magmatter ang ubang, ang uban nga characteristics. So, para ni Jack, kay taas man, if it's tall, if it's narrow, so mas taas siya, so mas, mas daghan ang tubig. But in reality, 
it is just the water from the wider glass being transferred to the narrow one. So, what's the characteristic of the judge? It's the length of the glass. Okay? So, mas taas man siya, so, mas taghan ang tubig. So, that's centration. When we say centration, it's judging, okay, based on one criteria. Okay? The other characteristics, the other criteria, it doesn't matter at all. So, yun na na ang centration. And it's reality. Diba? Hindi mo po katano ng bata, yun na na 2 to 7 years old, you can really tell that, um, uh, mas daghan ang tatong naa sa taas na baso. Diba? So that's centration. Okay? Nakasenter na siya sa Osaka characteristic when he or she judges. Okay? So muna siya. Then we have here intuitive thought. Okay? O sana siya sa key development. Intuitive thought. Okay? Occurs when the child is able to believe in something without knowing why she or he believes it. Okay? So, ang bata, he or ang bata, dali ra mo to o. And we call it intuitive thought. Diba? For example, to o si jag fairy tale, to o si jag o kanang, mo to o si jag o kanang, musaman, kanang, to o si jag about anang mga, about anang mga, Hmm, sa larang kuan sa bata din ang dali. Basta dali ra siya mo to o. And then, in this key, key development, diri magsugod ang chain question. Okay? Kaya nabit kami nga na, kaya nabang magsunod-sunod ang question sa bata. Nanong yung ani man? Dali to baga. Yung ani may kay ngani. Nanong yung anak man? O, oh, muna siya. Intuitive thought. It's because he wants to know something. He wants to know more about something. But in the end, it's still himself yung ijang, ijang tuuhan. It's because it's a key development for at this stage, 2 to 7 years old, he is egocentric. Inability to take the point of view of others. Diba? So, kung nakakuha mo ano yung subject, the, um, Ang example ani ni PJ is tatong ang child daw ni there there is her mom and him and then ang bata he covered um uh, his eyes he covered his eyes and then sa mind sa bata yung ginawa ko na that he um his mom will also cover her eyes but his mom didn't do it. So, on sa main hitabo sa bata, ang hilak siya. Because, um, the child believed that kung unsa ang point of view, dapat maupod sa uban. So, another example. For example, um, it is, um, for example, na ay bata, okay, it's her sister's birthday. Okay? She's, um, he's a boy. Okay, kato nga bata is a boy. And then, kita siya sa iyong mama nga to sa mall. And then, yun nga iyong mama nga, go get your sister a gift. And then, we will buy it. And since, he's a boy, so, what toys do you, what toys do you think, um, he, cho he chose? Ang sakay iyong gi gipili? Would it be about Barbie dolls? Would it be, would it be, um, toys about cooking? No, of course, he will um, he will choose um, toys na pang lucky. Diba? Because he doesn't, um, a child at this age doesn't have that idea to take the point of view of others. Kung say aho mo or masunod. Muna siya. Muna. Kinahanglan na imod yung i-guide ang bata in this, at this stage. Kay mo ni ang critical, critical nga, critical nga stage, pre-operational stage. O dili ni mo so kungon, nang ijang pag, ijang egocentrism, pwede nang ijang madain kadako. Okay? So, yun na siya. Then we also have here, 
inability to conserve. What does it mean? Fail to recognize that rearranging or moving things does not change the quantity. Okay, for example, na ay, for example, na ay, lastiko, di ba? Also, sa mga bata na lastiko. Di ba? For example, ihatag na ni mo, ihatag na ni mo ni dyan, naka-arrange. As in, compact na naka-arrange ang lastiko. And then, sudden din nataga. So, pagkataga na nakuha ng lastiko na 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 rearrange na smurag na nakatag. So, sa huna-huna sa bata, it's okay na mata, ma, ma, makatag. Kaya nga naman, paghatag ni Dja, gamay ako no ang lastiko. Pero kung pagkatag na, daghan. Oh, we call it inability to conserve. And that's normal at this age. Yeah. Ma-arrange mari siya ganyan ang gamay but, ma-arrange siya ganyan ang butang. So, it means for him na nang-change po ang quantity ang kadaghanon. Okay. But the, what, but in reality, it doesn't change. Okay, that's an ability to conserve. Okay, next we have animism. Okay, for animism at this stage, the child, okay, the child at this stage believes that inanimate objects have life-like qualities. So, hilig silang tagaan nila og life ang mga, ang mga um, non-living things. Okay, for example, bag. Yung mga silang alam, may ba ng bag? Oh, that's normal for him, for them. Animism. Okay, from the word, ani, um, we call it anim, uh, what's that? Kaya nga, what word? <laughs> uh, basta animism. Okay? So, there are six key developments for the pre-operational stage. And, oh, I mean, oh, kasi nga nang aning um, ipa, ah, remember nga bisang di pa, ah, kung pato ni sa mga bata at the age of 2 to 7 years old, it's normal. Ipocentric ka, ay, ipocentric, na intuitive thought, concentration, normal. Pero kung ingon na tag 10, 15, 20 years old, unja na paghapo yung inability to conserve, na paghapo siya yung aning animism, that's abnormal. Okay? So, muna ikaw na dyan, PJ. Okay. Okay. So, now, let's go to... Let's go to... Okay, so now let's go to stage three, okay, operational stage, seven to eleven years old. So, lahi na po ang characteristics ano sa mga bata. So, for the pre-operational, -oper uh, itong ganiha, pre-operational, this one, operational stage, characterized by the use of logic. So, rational na ang bata at this stage, seven to eleven years old. Why? Use the God of logic. So do you think na concentration? Do you think na pa inability to conserve? None. So it would be totally different na. So ang isa may mga key developments. First one, surrogation. It's the ability to arrange objects in an order according to size, shape, or any other characteristic. So of course, in this at this stage, na nas lihiro na siya mo classify of objects. So, napapasijay characteristic nga, nga being animistic? Dili na. It's because he can classify those things na na ay life o things na why life. Okay? So, that's serration. Knowing, uh, I'm sorry, serration for the ini. I'm talking about classification. So, it's the ability to arrange objects in an, uh, in an order according to size, shape, or any other characteristic. So, maka-arrange na ang bata according to given characteristics. Okay? So, maka-identify na siya kasi mas dako. So, for example, dako o na, doon sa doong gamay. Or gamay o na. Or... So, he knows the ascending and descending order. Okay? 
So for classification, ability to name and identify sets of objects according to the appearance, size, or other characteristics. So at this stage, the child as at this stage the child can classify. Okay, already. So just what I told you, what na animist, what na animist sa mga ane, dili na animist ka ng bata because he or she can classify. Okay, real life to I mean. Living things to non-living things. Yes, kung nasa siya mga anak. So, mao nang in aning stage, it is recommended to use graphic organizers for them because they already know how to classify things. Okay. So this one, decentering, where the child takes into account multiple aspects of a problem to solve it. So, ganiha, sa pre-operational, we talk about centration. Okay? Judging only based on one characteristic or quality or criteria. But this one, dili na siya nga ito. Okay? He or she is able to see the other characteristics when judging. Okay? Then we have reversibility, where the child understands that numbers or objects can be changed and then return to their original state. Okay? So, pwede na ka maingon nga 1 plus 2 I mean, ayan, hindi ka na ito ang sa math, ka nang reverse, kasi nga nga na, ka nang 1 plus 1 plus 3 ah, yeah, 1 plus 3 equals 4. So, kung baliho ni mo 3 plus 1, ang bata makitubag ha po 4 gihapon. It's because he knows that even if numbers Okay, or your objects are rearranged. Okay. Kung mabisag ma-rearrange yung objects, same ready hapon si Jack. Okay. So that's reversibility. Okay. So next, we have conservation. Okay. Understanding that quantity, length, or number of items is unrelated to the arrangement or, appear or appearance of the objects or items. So, bisan pag rearrange nyo ang object, it is still the same. Okay? So, at this stage, the child already have that kind of thought. Okay? So, mo na siya. Conservation. And then, the last one, the last key development is the elimination of egocentrism. So, kung ano siya di rin. He can take already the point of view of other people. Okay, so, kung papiliyon na ni mo si Jack Rigalo para sa isang sister, so, mukuha na si Jack. What we call this one, mupili na si Jack mga pambaji because his sister is a girl. And then, the last stage, we have the formal operational stage, 11 years to adulthood. It is characterized by acquisition of the ability to think abstractly. So, since then, ko na, parahan na natong idan. So, we can reason logically and draw conclusions from the information available. So, this one, mas ako ano siya, higher, na na yung higher order thinking skills, hats, ano siya na stage. Okay. So, mauto si Jazz sa atong cognitive development. Do you have any question? Marato si Jazz. Ang Jan P. J. Kasi don't forget ang mga edad. Kasi in the exam it goes um ingon na diha na pre-operational stage. Unsa ang ijang edad? Ano na sa exam? Kani intuitive thought. Kani mga key development mo na hawak si Jang gi 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 discuss o pag-adjo. It's because mo juni kasi lara mga wala sa exam. Ayo kalimot, kaya again, ang i-review ha. Assimilation, new thinking or new learning, and then sa accommodation, ma-revise na through the course of time. Along the way, dahil medyo tayong ma-learn, di ba? So, you learn this and then it stops there. No. It will, we will, because di ba, just what they, just what they say, just what they say, a person, doesn't stop learning until he dies. So, mo nang 
Diyan kaya, Jay, um, nakawin ako na just dyan ang assimilation ng accommodation. Because it's, it's real. Okay? So we have sensory motor stage. Yung isang key development, object permanence. But kung di sabi niya makita, but in his mind, it's still there. Okay. Symbolic functioning, katong pretentious play, di rin amasod. Concentration, judging only based on one characteristic or criteria, intuitive thought, adapt na without knowing why, her, why she, she or he believes it. Okay. In egocentrism, an ability to take the point of view of others. What I uh, what I want to do, you also have to do it. Mga egocentrism. Inability to conserve, animism. That's the important thing. That's it. Basta, um, at the operational stage, it is when the child okay, starts to use logic. Don't forget that. Okay? You use as your reason. Solution, classification, decentering, reversibility, conservation, elimination of egos and reason. So, do you have any question about cognitive development? Ilan naman mo? Gamay na malamalay mo dari? Okay. Do you have any question about cognitive development? None, sir. None? Yes, sir. Okay. So, kasabot naman ka ito, ha? Okay, now let's go to Social Development Theory by Lev Vygotsky. Okay. So, dari na. Inumdum pa ko muna dyan. Okay. So, basta don't forget to take down notes sa mga important thing na ako. Pero, ako mag-hapon na send din dyan. Pero, not this week. Okay. Napamalas dahil sa mga pahitag. Hanap pa mong good me. Okay. Now, let's go to the social development theory by Lev Vygotsky. So, Lev Vygotsky was, bo was born in Russia in 1896. He died at the young age of 37 due to TB. Okay. Due to his early death, most of his theories um, were left undeveloped. His work in the last 10 years of his life became the foundation of much research and a theory in cognitive development. Okay. So, ngari, we will talk about social, okay? social development theory. So, the major theme of Vygotsky's theoretical framework is that social interaction plays a fundamental role in the development of cognition. So, according to Lev, that environment is very important because it is you know, man, in the environment you know, maka, you know, maka interact with other people there is social interaction in the environment okay so when uh, social interaction for him it affects learning process in an individual you know, maka learn through social interaction Creates consciousness and awareness upon the individual. He believed that social interactions that children engage in help them to both discover and create meaning from the things that they discover. Okay, so mo si na in the environment, it is where we can socially interact. And in that social interaction, we, uh, we can learn. Okay, so these are the important terms, okay? These are the important terms that you need to remember for his theory. 
we have the role of social interaction in cognitive development, more knowledgeable other, MKO, ginsan sila, you will find out later. We have the ZPD, Zone of Proximal Development, and the Scaffolding. So, muna si Jan. Huwag mo kalimutan nga na ni So, let's start. Okay. So, muna si Jan. Number one, Role of Social Interaction in Cognitive Development or Language. Vygotsky believed that language was the most important tool that humans could utilize. Well, syempre, language, because when you interact, you use language to communicate. Okay. So, Vygotsky believed that there are three forms of language as, out, as outlined below. We have social speech, external communication that people use to talk with other people. Okay, mo na siya atong speech kung makikistoryata sa masama. Makikistoryata sa ubang tao. He, call it so, he calls it social speech. We also have the private speech. Internal communication that a person directs to themselves. It serves as an intellectual function. So, ang private speech or we call it self speech. Okay? Muna si Jaha ang kanang ni magjama-jama ang bata. Diyan si Jaha usa. He talks to himself. We call it private speech. Okay? And oh, and then when a child talks to himself, okay, at the age of three, that's normal. Okay? Pero kung magjama-jama ka 20 years old na ka, 30 years old, something is wrong with you. Okay? So, this one. The next one, we have the silent inner speech. Private speech diminishes in its audibility until it becomes a self-regulating function. From the term, from the word inner, you are talking to yourself in your head. So, you don't need to say it loudly, unlike the private speech, but in your head na laman, self-regulating function. Ano, for example, masoko ka. Okay? Masoko ka. And then, you tell yourself, be calm, be calm. But, but it's in your head only. Okay? You don't, you don't say it loudly. Okay? So, muna si Jia. That's the three types of speech according to Lev. We have social speech, private speech, and the silent inner speech. So, for the more knowledgeable other, the MKO is any person who has a higher level of ability for understanding than the learner in a certain topic. Okay, so from the word more knowledgeable other, it means mas taas si ja o hibaw kaysa nino. Okay, before people think of it as the people, uh, uh, people think of it as Usually the teachers, the parents, coaches, but no, it could also be your friend of the same age. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that if it's an MKO, it's something that must maguwang nila, older than you. No, it could also be your children. It could also be your peer your colleague of the same age. Why? Oh, for instance, who is the one usually teaching their grandparents to learn how to use cell phone? It's their grandchildren, usually. So, is it the grandparents or um, the grandchildren? Diba? So it doesn't mean, Monang, that's, that's why I told you that it doesn't mean that you're young and your parent is older than you. That he is more knowledgeable other. Not. Because there are things that you can teach him. There are also things that she can teach you. 
So what else is that? Before, that's before. Now more knowledgeable other thou is someone older than you. But that's wrong. Okay. So basta um ang, ang MKO basta asya o si bow in a specific skill ni mo. So, let's get more knowledgeable other. Then we have the zone of proximal development. The zone of proximal development is the area of learning that a more knowledgeable other assists the student in developing a higher level of learning. For this one, they use the term student because we are, imagine that we are in a classroom setting. Okay? Teacher of student. Okay? The zone of proximal development is the area of learning that a more knowledgeable other assists the student in developing a higher level of learning. Okay. So the assistance that the MKO, okay, the assistance that the MKO gives to the student, we call that as the zone of proximal development. Ano man? Because in that assistance, in that time nga imong giasisan, imong gitabangan, ang tao, that is, this, this, uh, this, uh, that is where learning occurs. Gitabang na to siya, the zone of proximal development. Okay? So, sa katong time na imong gitabangan, naadiha ang learning. Okay? So, the goal is for the facilitator to be less involved as the student develops the necessary skills. So, as an, MK, as an MKO, we don't need to be more involved in giving assistance. Remember, na ang daspida is the student. Okay? He or she will not learn if you are more involved. Diba? He or she will not become more independent. Kung nakakakanunay, tabangan naman siya kanunay. No. You only assist him. You only facilitate him. The money can live with God's gift. And we, you, you only help if it's needed. And that we call it judicious assistance. Okay? What is that? Vygotsky described, Vygotsky describes it as the distance between the actual development level as determined by independent as determined by independent problem solving and the level of potential development is determined through problem solving under ad adult guidance or in collaboration with more capable peers. The distance. Okay, the zone of proximal development is the distance. The okay, distance from this side na wa ni magitabangan ang bata up to this side na magitabangan ni mo ang bata. So the distance, the nasat nga, the distance nga, why nakatunan, kung na ay nakatunan, muna siya ang zone of proximal development. The assistance that we give, that's the Z, the B. Okay? Or kasabot, kasabot mo mo. Okay. So next, oh, di ba? What is the oh, see, can see teacher's role. The teacher is this one. You only lift the child. Dili ka ikaw man mo kuha sa apple. Okay? Not the teacher will get the apple for the child, but it should be the child. Your job is to lift him up. Okay? So that's it. Muna sa dya ang Z, P, P. The assistance that you give. Oh, you buy this one. Oh, I have here another. This one. Oh, the green one, muna si ang bata, current achievement nga white tabang. Yung white tabang sa green. But the orange one, that's the teaching, this is where the teaching occurs. Or kita gaan yung assistance. Now, because you help him, you help him, that is why he is able to go here beyond reach at present. So, Mas taas ang iyang nahi, mas dako ang iyang nahi bawaan because of the assistance that we give here in the orange one. So, di ba, imagine, 
Without ZPD, the child will only be here. The nurse is agreeing. He or she will not move. Diba? So that's the importance of ZPD. Okay? So, yeah. so for Vygotsky, he believed that children would not advance very far if they were left to discover everything on their own. Okay? Vygotsky noted noted that a good teacher should present material that is too difficult and pull the students along. So, importantly put that when you give an activity, not too easy for the children. Try nga naman. If it's too easy for them, they will become under-challenged. And then, if they are under-challenged, syempre, may avoid na sila. They won't, they, 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 naka, we, um, we don't need, uh, they don't need your assistance. Diba? So, kailangan gan, difficult so that they will learn. Okay? He argued that rather than examining what a student knows to determine intelligence, it is better to examine his or her ability to solve problems independently of his or ability to solve problems with an adult's help. It's very important. Scaffolding. Okay. For scaffolding, what children can do in cooperation today, he can do it alone tomorrow. So, ang scaffolding the eye, what do you mean by scaffolding? Scaffolding or the judicious assistance. Ang scaffolding from the word um, judicious or Judge, diba? the root word there is judge. As a teacher, you scaffold only, okay? You scaffold only when it's needed. So, if you think, for example, ang, ang, ang example there ni Lev was, itong, nag, itong, itong bata na mag shoelace si Jia, magpas dia sa ijang sinturon. I mean, uh, not sinturon, sinturon, liston, sa ijang liston. Diba? Katong bata, at first, at first, um, nag-isod ang bata o kuan, liston sa ijang, sa ijang, sa ijang, what we call this one, sa ijang, pagtaot sa ijang liston. And then, here comes, here comes his mother. Okay. So, kitabangan sa ijang mother, giskafold si ija. Okay. Giskafold si ija at first. At first, the, sa first scaffolding, more involved kay first pa man. Diba? First pa. And then, pila ka time. Okay? Nakabot na mga weeks na. Do you think ang nanay more involved pa? No. Because ang bata, maginahinay naman na si Jaog. Maginahinay naman na si Jaog learn. So, natito na lamang kamutabang sa kung asa nga lisod si Jabo. Lisod ni Jabo Katon. That is where the time you scaffold judicious assistance not all the time may imus diyang tabangan you only help him you only scaffold the child if it's if it's needed mo na mo yung ganang inyong maestra yung ganang inyong principal you scaffold the child you scaffold your student it doesn't mean that you will help them every time okay you only help them if it's needed that's scaffolding okay so is what if ang ZPD is the distance, ang distance ang ZPD, ang tawag sa help is the scaffolding. Okay. Ayaw mo ka, don't, ayaw mo ka, o sila na kanil. Hamong ibalik diri. Ang ZPD, muna siya ang distance, di ba? From the current achievement to beyond, ah, ang, ang bata nga wa gitabangan, padong sa bat, batong sa bata ang gitabangan, kanil orange. Ang distancing ana, ang developmenting ana or ang distance mo na ang ZPD. Dere sa ZPD, di ba, ning tabang ka. Ang kanang tabang ni mo mo na kitawag og scaffolding. Okay? Ang ZPD is the distance. Distance siya. Term na to na sa distance. 
sa nagatong bata nga why nakatiguhan tug naa sa nakatiguhan mo na ZPD distance but the help nga imong gihimo diri sa ZPD mo na ang scaffolding sa botwa Okay. Sabot, sir. Okay. So, so now what do you do when you become a teacher? Huh? Will you be more involved or less involved? Less involved. Less involved. Okay. Okay. So, muna si Ja. So, when scaffolding, the... the NKO becomes a supportive tool for the student in the zone of proximal development. Hmm. What is it, John? Scaffolding, as Vygotsky defined, scaffolding instruction. Okay, role of teachers and others in supporting the learner's development and providing support structures to get to the next stage or level. Oh, kang bigot si Wini, he used the term support. Support tara ka. Dili to ikaw mismo mo ay mabuhay. Unang karoon sa modular, parents are not doing scaffolding already. Kaya sila na may mo answer. Diba? Are they doing that judicious assistance? No. Diba mo na kung ikaw na yung answer sa ilo? Kung ikaw na yung answer sa test sa imong bata, you're not scaffolding the child anymore. Okay? Tingnan naman, if you, if you truly, okay, if you truly, if you are really doing scaffolding, na, mo, na less involved ka, ang bata makafeel of success. Diba? Ano naman, it's because may mong sila nga, di kuanan naman kuan ni mama, kanang di kabangan naman kuan ni, and then, nalugay na ako na naman. Diba? That time, the child feels success. Una ang scaffolding. Now, when you are a teacher, you only you only help if it's needed. Wag ibigay lahat. Okay. Next, teachers provide scaffold so that the learner can accomplish certain tasks they would otherwise not be able to accomplish on their own. Again, balik ng kumula na you only scaffold if um. If you think na dili ni Jig mahimo sa bata, that's the time na mubat in ka as a teacher. Okay? The goal of the educator is for the student to become an independent learner and problem solver. Because if you are more involved, dili ang isa magkawag ang independent learner. Dependent na na siya ni mo. Diba? Kung sobraan na po kag-scaffolding, yung muna inatag ka lang sa bata, you are not asking him to become an independent learner. You are only telling him, like, you are just like telling him na become independent anymore. Okay, so what is it? Okay, so what is it? Bata, there is, what is it? Kung kuwa ang, kung kuwa ang interaction, kana yung social interaction, while learning. Mo nang sa ZPD along, sa ZPD, there should be language. Diba? Yan nga, makikistorya ka. Because if you won't speak, if you if you won't talk, there will be no learning. Diba? Ang bata, muli ang bata, if you call me. Then, ito nga, ana, the distance between ang mahimok sa bata o sa jara, o ang mahimok sa bata na naitabang, o na ang ZPD. Okay? So, kung sa may isang classroom implications, <clears throat> arrange student desks in clusters. Okay, mo na siya. Ang lab, mo na siya ang classroom implications siya. When we use the lab, we got this theory in the classroom, you arrange students' desks in clusters. Ngayon. <clears throat> Ngayon naman, when you, group the, when you group them, nakatabang sila sa usag-usa. Di ba? Ngayon naman, because the other one could be an MKO, de ba? Sa us ang usa ka member sa group or sa desk, lihiro si Jamas lihiro si Art sa uban. So pwede siya mo tulo sa uban, de ba? He can be an MKO, 
pinag-usap po, basit mas hero sa man. So, pwede siya makatabang sa uban. Ah, diba? There is assistance. Mga na siya. Then, arrange other work spaces for peer instruction, collaboration, and small group instruction. So, dapat ang spaces should be according to kung sa man. Na pwede makakolaborate ang bata, pwede siya makahimo o Pwede, pwede ka makapag-group nila. So, that should be your arrangement. And then, but at the same time, this promotes language, social interaction, and learning from others. Okay. Then, reciprocal strategies. Use props to illustrate each of the four skills to be practiced. Summarizing, clarifying, questioning, and predicting. Have students' body. Tagaan na mo sila partner. Especially kato mga di kabasa. Tagaan partneran na mo sila o ka ng partneran na mo sila o mas makabasa. Ayan si Jia. Ang MKO katong makabasa. At tabangan na, katong tabang ang gihatag sa katong, na, sa katong mas lihiro mo basa, we call it scaffolding. The teacher should act as a facilitator. Help the student achieve the zone of proximal development through all possible means. Then, then, create lessons that engage student interest and give them a basis for language when socially interacting. Then, use technology and hands-on activities to further engage them in learning. So, engagement is still very important. Motivation. So, nagsabot mo, they were done with social development. Yes, sir. Any question? About any? None, sir. None, sir. Okay, I'll give you five minutes water break. Okay, after any will be psychosocial development. Okay, Eric Erickson. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Balik ka at 
okay. So good afternoon again. Kana. Good afternoon, sir. Kusog kusog na, bingok. Bintah yes, sir. sir. Ah, bintah na, oh, sige sige. Na oh, unad ay. Oh, sige karon, let's go to the last one. The rest will be tackled next session. Na. So, how do skip ang kang Eric Erickson? It's because there are eight stages. So, kasi di na masold sa injong mga kuan, mga memory card. So, let's go to the social learning theory. This is by Albert Bandura. Ano siya nga? Albert Bandura. Please write. Okay. Kanang, same na ba siya? Social, sa itong kang Vygotsky. Social, something social ko kung iya. Kani, social learning theory. Albert Bandura. Okay, social learning theory. What? What is social learning theory? Also called observational learning. So, diri, sa social learning, diri, diri na itong observation. Mo learn daw ka by observing. Okay. Ano siya ang social learning theory? This theory also emphasizes learning through observation of others. Diba? As you can see, ang kanang mga bata are good imitators. Diba? Children are good imitators. That is why when you are in front of them, you do not say bad words. Because dali ra na nilang ma-imitate. Dali ra na nilang ma-observe baran. Okay? So, mo na siya social learning theory. Now, in social learning theory, we learn not only how to perform a behavior, okay, but also what will happen to us in a specific situation if we do perform it. Diba? So, for example, so, ang social learning theory says na when you observe, dili laman kuno ka lihiro, dili laman kuno ka malihiro sa imong giobserbaran. But at the same time, makahibaw po ka o unsay mahitabo ni mo if you do it. Oh, for example, bata ka. Okay. Example, bata ka. And then, one of your friends, one of your friends, nagugahugaw, nagduwag bas, diba? nagduwag bas. And then, kinagduwa-duwa magbas, ang consequence, gibo na lang siya sa ijang mama. So now you learn na ah, ikaw na di ang pagugahugaw. Mududuwag ba? So gahugaw na na siya. And then, kung ako ng bukaton, probably my mom will also scold me. So mo na siya. You will not only learn, but you will also know what will happen to you if you perform that. Mo na siya ang kang Albert Bandura na social learning theory. Okay? So next, types of observational learning. Next, we have inhibition. So mga effects kung imong buhaton, okay, or effects sa imong na observeran, sa imong na learn. Okay, for example, na observe ka kung sa mga effect ni Jack. First, inhibition. To learn not to do something that we already know. How to do because a model being observed refrains from behaving in that way or does something different from what is intended to be done. So, ang diri is sa inhibition, sa inhib, sa inhibition, sa imong na observeran, you learn that you will not do it. Yeah, for example, itong how we example kaniya. So that's inhibition because based on what you observe, you think, you learn to not do it again. Okay? So, inhibit na ka. You will tell yourself, I will not do it because there will be possibility that I will get punished. So, mo na siya ang unang effect sa, observa sa observational learning. Remember ha that the social learning by Albert Bandura can also be, is also termed as observational learning. Okay. By the way, kusog na ba? Ang tingog? 
Yes, sir. Uh, okay, the owner of the eye. So, what is that? Second effect is, uh, what is that? Uh, one inhibition. Okay, oh, for example, can you see that? Mga sabaan. Oh, gipang kasabaan. So, ikaw nga naka-observe, mga sabak, balik ka. Oh, di ina. You inhibit. You will not do it. So, muna ang first effect. Inhibition. Then, this one. To learn to exhibit a behavior that is usually disapproved of by most uh, by most people because a model does the same without being punished. So, so this inhibition, you learn to exhibit a behavior that is usually disapproved. Okay, ni? Bisag ang gibuhat, okay? Bisag ang gibuhat sa tao is not really good. But in the end, he is not being punished. So, sa buhato ni mo, you will still do it. It's because bisag wrong si Jack, wa si Jack be punished. Oh, for example, kita ka ng awat, kaya ang si Jack, wa si nasakpan. So, kaya mo buhaton, mo buhat ka, so kaya na punished. So, mo na si Jack, this inhibition. Now, or, pwede po na, pwede po na, you observe something, okay, you observe something that is good, and then he is being, um, he is being given rewards or, or incentive. Pwede po na sa dya. So, mong imus niyang gibuhat. Okay, pagkakita ni mong a good, pagkakita, you, uh, because people are giving him rewards, so, you want to do it as well. Mga na siya. Then, facilitation. Types na name. Ah, ayan. Facilitation. To learn to exhibit. Ano mo rin mag-say? Ano mo rin mag-say? Ah, kaya na. To be prompted to do something that is not ordinarily done. Okay? Because of insufficient motivation. Okay? Okay, so kani si Jia. Um, Naka-observe ka of something na gibuhat sa tao, pero you, ang tao nga nagbuhat, wadyo si Jia ingon na sufficiently motivated because he or she might get harm or into harm. For example, kanang sa circus-circus, diba? Kanang mulatay o kanang mulatay o wire. Diba? That's that something that is not ordinary, and it's good. But not all people will motivate you to do that because it there's a possibility that will that when you do it, it will just lead you to harm. Eva, so much is that facilitation. So observational learning to learn a new behavior pattern by watching and imitating the performance of someone else. So, when you um, imitate, okay, because the, the, the central idea for social learning is imitation, okay, when you imitate the performance of someone else, you are doing observational learning, okay? So, where are the elements, okay? So, muna siya ang kibali ang focus, Okay, one is the key ang focus sa process of learning, sa social learning. Okay, so there eh? In an observational learning, first, attention, diba? When you observe, you have to focus, mental or focus concentration, and the willingness of the child to observe and mimic the behavior of a model, diba? So, many ang first step sa obs observational learning. First, for example, nakakita ka nga, um, Mukas may, may tubag siya, and then di-praise siya sa inyong teacher, and then 
you want to do it. So before you 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 do it, ang imo first button attention focus. Okay, pagkita imo you show interest, you show willingness to do it. So you attend to that. Concentrate ka. After that, retention. Katong behavior na nakita ni mo sa imong classmate ngayon to bagong sa i-praise, it will be encoded in your mind. Butang na sa muna huna. Okay, mas store na si Jack. Sa muna ina na. So kung mas matubag po sa among ma'am, I will be praised. I will be given reward. So muna, mas old siya muna huna. Retention na. After that, after sa retention process, imo na si Jang ma-produce. Ikaw na mismo ang mo buhat. Okay? So, by this time, tingnan nito na hitabo. So, I will do it. Muna yung production. Then, after ano yung production, the thing that motivates you to do, motivation. Okay? Or reinforcement. So, may mga nakabuhat ng judi na how it's because when he did it, when she did it, she was given reward. So, ang imong motivation is the reward. So, mo na si Jack. So, there are four. Ha? There are four. Remember. Okay. Balibalihon nga ba ni sa exam? What's the, what's the, what is the, more than the important thing there is. Any elements. Okay, any, excuse me, any glad. Balibalihon eh. What is the proper arrangement? Okay? Don't forget, attention, retention, production, motivation. Don't forget that one. Attention, retention, production, motivation, or reinforcement. Muna si Jack. Muna ah. What is the correct arrangement of the elements of social learning in one in exam. Sa high, ilang mo na hon, is it, ilang mo na hon nila production, nila na tension, nila na yung ano. So, please, take note of that. So, there are three forms of reinforcement. We have occurs when an individual watches a model perform and then imitates the behavior and is reinforced or punished by some individual. Oh, so, ang reinforcement, you, ikaw mismo, ikaw mismo ang gitagaan of reward. Ikaw nga nang observe, ikaw nga nang buhat, ikaw mismo ang gitagaan of reward, ikaw mismo po ang gipanished. Diba? Muna ang direct reinforcement. From the word direct, o kinsa tong mihimo, si Jamaoy, directly nga napanishan, directly nga natagaan of reward. Next, we have the vicarious reinforcement. The observer anticipates receiving a reward for behaving in a given way because someone else has been so rewarded. So, katong imong gi-observan, dili ikaw, katong imong gi-observan, maoy nakahatag sa rin, maoy nakadawat sa reinforcement or reward. So, muna mo ito. Ah, kagi-rewardan sila. So, I will imitate him. Ah, kagi-punishan sila. So, I will not imitate him. So, mana sa dyan. Ang vicarious reinforcement, ang katong imong di-observan na ay nakadawag sa reward. Self-reinforcement. The individual strives to meet personal standards and does not depend on or care about the reaction of others. Record self, imo self reinforcement. So imo na una na ah, wakan na una una o wakan na una una o kanang reaction sa uban. As long as you want to do it, so then do it. Muna kita wag nila kaber. Alam ko sa ilan sa tiba sa ay will do it. Kamo ang gitong di sa ilan. What's the significance of social learning? The significance of social learning theory. 
So, sa Bandura, nagkuhan sa Bobol Dahl Experiment. So, mamas si Jan. Ang Bobol Dahl daw is kasi nga ni Ani, Ani, ang mga bata, ang kanyang mga bata na kanaw, si Jan, dyan na ito'y dakong mga tao kibalik, yung sumbag-sumbag ang kanyang dahal. So, since my punishment, and then the child, the children, see satisfaction sa katong gibuhat sa ilang kibaling murag. Okay na ka niya? Ang kababuga mo. Kanaong sa inyong anang... Okay na? Aroy. Okay, so natin ako nga tao, natin kibalik kung sa kang igot skipa, MKO, isumbag-sumbag ng bobodal. So, then the children are in front sa katong tao, sa tao. So, ang tao, yung gawas. So, since they see satisfaction sa katong gibuhat sa tao, so pagbidya sa tao, mo itong ilang gibuhat po. Mo ito ang bobodal experiment. So, there is learning through imitation, through observing. So, sa may significance, I mean, sa atong classroom. So, sa atong lesson, objectives, di ba? Natin attention, retention, reduction of motivation. Di ba? So, this was atong lesson plan. First, you get the attention of the children. And then, Retention. You want them to store in mind. You want them to store in mind what what you teach, and then you let them apply production. After ana, you motivate them to do it outside or even inside the classroom. Or as you or in their production, you give them reward if it's positive. You give them reward. If it's negative, then you tell them to stop doing it. Mama si Jack. Sa social learning theory. So, I think that's all for this afternoon. For Eric Erickson, psychosocial age stages, ato ni si Jack. Mama si Jack. Session. Okay? So, do you have any question? No, I'm going to go. Oh, oh. So, do you have any question? If there is none, then we can end. No, sir. Okay, Sige, thank you. No, sir. We can leave now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. So, thank you.